Hi guys, we're going to have a quick guide on where to install WordPress once we've got our cloud dashboard sorted. Um, a couple of people kind of ask us, well, I've got work on my site, I'd like to know how to install WordPress. It is as simple as scrolling down to the application options, you'll see there's an icon there that says install application. Do you want to give that one a click? Uh, when you've done that, you'll see everything that can be installed. In this instance, we're going to say WordPress. So you'll see here there's a green box that just says install. We want to click that one. Uh, you'll notice here, you then see an option about the installing path. Uh, this is quite important. Basically, if you'd like WordPress to be on the root of your domain, so in our example, the site is tsotraining.co.uk, um, I'd like WordPress to appear when someone types in tsotraining.co.uk. So in this instance, um, in the install path, I want to leave that forward slash there. Doing that will basically mean that WordPress installs in the root of the domain, um, which basically means if someone goes to tsotraining.co.uk, they'll see a WordPress installation. I'm just going to let this one install quickly, just to show you what I mean, and then we'll talk about installing in other paths and do quick examples. Right guys, so my WordPress installation has finished installing. Uh, you'll notice when you finish installing that you'll get um, some information that just lets you know the username and the password. Um, just to double check to show you where it has been installed, I'm just going to quickly go to my file manager. Um, if you click on the file manager and then click on the public HTML folder, um, this there, as you can see, those are all the files and folders you need for WordPress to be installed. So in theory, if I just open a new tab and quickly go to TSO training, UK, um, when that one comes up, you'll see that there should be a default WordPress installation. So in this example, we've installed WordPress on the root of the domain. I'm just going to do another quick one now, um, just to show you if you wanted to install it, like I say, in a subdirectory like blog, something similar. So I'm just You're not restricted to one WordPress installation on your account, and you can add more if you like. So in this, although we've just done the example of installing it in the root, we're now just going to put one in a folder called blog. So then, so I went to tsotraining.co.uk slash blog, WordPress will show for them then. So to do this, we just want to install application, and you'll see here we get the option it shows us our default application there we're just going to go for a new software installation we're going to choose wordpress again i'm going to click install but here we're just going to put blog so blog and then we're going to install application what this will do is within your public html folder in the file manager it will create another folder in there called blog and all of the wordpress files will be installed into that um, when this is finished downloading, we'll have a quick test and I'll show you exactly what's happened. Right guys, so here we can see that our installation of WordPress in a blog subdirectory is completed. Again, it's just quickly given us a username and a password. Um, we're just going to double check it again in the file manager to show you exactly where it's been installed. So, file manager, uh, we're going to go to the public HTML, and then we should in here, there we go, see there's a folder called blog, which is what we called our installation. Double click on that one, and again, we can see all of the WordPress files and folders that will be needed to get into the site.